Shadow of Judgment. Oh, that was way too many days, but it's whatever. Fire signs are the last one for this week. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is your sign in Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. So check your charts accordingly. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, you just boop your nose, way it goes, no point about worrying about shit, thing. got nothing to do with you, ain't none of your damn business, but it will get you hyped the fuck up. Mm. Killing in the name. What? Why are we singing Rage Against the Machine? Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Okay, well, whatever, all right. What the fuck? Okay, look, Ray, like, this is not a musical. Okay, like, I understand. You're all hyped up. You guys listen to the radio, which I didn't know. So it was just, uh, like, it's okay. All right, anyway, fire signs. If you want a personal reading down in the description box below, we'll look there for everything. I'm also going to do some extendeds because, like, I mean it this time. If you want to throw me a bone when they come out, go ahead. If not, you can wait till the end of the month and they'll be released in. Aries, you're up first. And I would do anything for love. But I won't do that. No, I won't do that. I would do anything for love. I would do anything for love. But I just won't do that. Okay. What? The literal fuck, Aries. Oh, yeah! You have the same thing as Taurus, like someone with baby daddy issues. You know, I think you're questioning if you're the baby daddy or not. Or are you the baby daddy? And now it's just like, oh, shit. I need to leave the fucking country. Like, I'm, I'm so bored in this. Which you're really not, but it's like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, got you with my thighs. How about that shit? So far, Aries and Cross Watchers. I feel like there's a fire sign, like not like it could be you, but it also could be um, a Leo or Sagittarius. Definitely on the Leo side for sure. Um, shit seems like it's going bad for him, but they're they're playing it off really well. But you can tell because they're not like they're. Big mama ways. They're not offering people cornbread. They're not asking if you're hungry. They don't give a fuck if you leave star from their house. Get the fuck out. Like, I guess this person's got problems. They ain't off able to offer anything. There's a child over here that was reflecting their ancestor, but I don't think they're of the... But I feel like they're not of the right breed, and someone knows how to be slick tongue about it. Meanwhile, someone's had their spiritual eyes gouged out, but they still can't see what's happening. So they're just, you know, they're like, now, you know, they're starting to see things for how they really are. That someone's grandchild is not theirs. Oh boy. Someone doesn't need spiritual eyes to know that shit. Someone's trying to spit out some good tidings to people who are broke as fuck. And this person over here isn't very reliable. It's like whoever's having the shit luck, they're the problem. They're the problem. Or maybe they're the ones suffering the consequences of their actions. I'm not sure. Mm. But someone's definitely trying to... I'd say swindle. Like they're just uh, like using the silver tongue method to hide uh, some shit. And now like they're spitting blessings on people. But in reality, they're, their shit's all fucked up. It's like they're a Libra. Like, their life looks perfect on the outside, but on the inside, the, the balance is their house is all fucky. You know? Like, maintaining that kind of thing. Or, like, when someone's like, oh, I thought this person was this way, but they were really this way. And it was just like, well, that's what you get for having expectations about people and what you think that they're supposed to be and who they are. You know, that's the only time when you really get upset with when what someone does with their own life is because you have an expectation for them that you really didn't even, like, I guess, have a conversation with them about. Because it's just like, okay, I'm glad you expected this of me, but, like, you aren't communicating that to me. That's like a motherfucker who will sit there, have you talking to them about a subject, argue with you about it, and then be like, you need to learn to communicate. And it's just like, I've been communicating with you this entire time. Why don't you listen to what the fuck I have to say? Maybe instead of telling me I have a communication problem, you have a comprehension and listening problem. How about that? How about we actually go over 
Um, who has the bigger issue here? Because I don't think it's me. I don't think you can, like, it, it feels like there's someone you just can't talk to because they don't actually want to talk. Like, it's like every time you open your mouth to them this week, it's like they're going to act like it's your fault that they don't, that you, that they don't understand what you're saying. But it's not that they don't understand what you're saying. They're just hiding behind a bravado because shit's happening, um, in the background and they're trying to lie to you about what is and is not. Spitting like things, but things aren't really what they are, Aries and Cross Watchers. So please be very careful. Because this person is not going to listen. Like, it's not that you can't communicate. It's that they don't want to listen to you. So they're going to sit there and tell you you need to learn to communicate, even though you're communicating. Like, it's, it's like communication isn't a problem if you're talking. It's whether or not the other person can comprehend what you're saying. Like, I learned that in communications and college, right? Um, it, it, like, yes, it's a responsibility of the person delivering the message to make sure that the person getting the message, the receiver, gets the message correct. But if you're sitting there telling somebody, can you please get ice cream for 10 minutes straight, and then they're just like, I don't understand what you're saying. You need to learn to communicate. That's gaslighting. That person knows exactly what you're saying. They just don't want to actually have a conversation with you. They just want to talk you down so you don't have a conversation with them. Because they don't want to deal with their shit. Leah! Your ass was all in that rando I did this morning, dude. So I don't know what's going on with you. Or at least one in particular. Maybe a few. I don't know. Let's see what's going on with your week. Judgment call and someone shocked. Oh. There is a not a big queen giving out some bullshit, some unauthentic Black Hawk pots. Someone paid for that shit probably just to get it or use it to get a pie and then create an established base. But then like fuck shit happened. Now, Leo, you might have kept your face up. You were still fierce, but you were still fucking pretty, right? Still willing to give to whatever. But for some reason, something's not shaking off of you and you feel like that uncanny valley. Like you came home and all your shit's replaced with replicas and it was just like someone divinated this to you already. Or someone told you this. Um, but somehow that information was not passed down or someone didn't tell you everything. Possibly to do with a relationship right here. Someone didn't want to face their duality. Huh. Give me the Sagittarius. Yeah, whoever didn't pass down the information, they did so for a reason to kind of swindle somebody. I think it might have been someone's partner if they tried to do that too. Like, or maybe it's this dude. Maybe he could be a Sagittarius. Like, he had the pie and this bitch was supposed to pay for it. Or maybe something fucking happened. I don't know. Or did someone escape? Someone got away. It's like this person, like this woman in the judgment card shocked that like a really fucked up Sagittarius managed to get out of a situation. Um, there was a coupling. Someone was supposed to pay a piece of the pie so they can gather information. However, there were things that were not actually like passed down because they were about inauthentic. And now whoever this possible water sign is or whoever is all like manipulative with feelings and shit is just turning their back as this person's going about their way and just doing whatever and feels like I'm, I'm glad I got all this information now I can gather some more and it's just like what are you doing cause someone might like someone might end up like hot foot powder in their way out of a bad situation someone can't escape their fate no matter how protected they are like this bitch's dress is completely covered in um the evil eye and all that shit, right? Or the eye of protection, if you will. Like, like all sorts of shit in her house to protect her. But it's like there's no escape. She's going to get caught. And now this person who just wants to turn her back to shit, they're just like, wait, look what I can do. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. It's like you're, you got tricked to, like, do something stupid. Leo and Cross Watchers. Or maybe you feel as though, like, you're going to trick somebody into doing something stupid. I don't know. But it's like someone did something stupid. Like, they paid for something. And then when they went to do it, it, it like, with whatever information that was given to them, even though it wasn't all the information, um, 
It fucked them up, and now they can't go back the way that they came. And worse, they're just showing off very little of what they can do this week. Leo and Cross Watchers. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway. Sagittarius. What's up with you? Let's see what's going on for your week, Sag and Cross Watchers. Someone does ain't crossing that fucking river. Like, I don't know if I want to do that. I'll go this way with the stick, though. I'll go this way. <clears throat> I don't think I want to go back over there. I'm going this way. Because they found their vitality and starting something new. You might have. They might have this week. Hmm. Or someone's just not trying to come your way. Unless your name's Mud. Taking a new start could lead to someone seeing things for how they were. Taking off the rose-colored glasses to see the disaster. Whoever wants to reach for this vitality isn't bringing anything of good. Like, they're just there to take and deliver some fucking horse shit, I reckon. Oof. Now, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers, I don't exactly remember the reading I did for you. Like, I, I literally can't. Like, it's, it's kind of a blank right now. But you might know that this person's going to try to come with this bullshit anyway. Like, you've been praying on it, apparently. It's just like, I know he's coming. I know that fucker's coming. Like, like, like come here. Come here. Like, come on, I missed you. I miss Like, come fuck here with the daughter of sticks at the very bottom and this wish fulfillment over here. You might be getting the wave for something more cancer is. Hmm. Sagittarius and crosswatch. Someone's hesitant to cross the river. But they want you to be mud and they want to like live off of this idea that like whatever actions that you take are a terrible influence on their empire. They're just like, I can ignore this motherfucker. Um, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yet you're the one with all the actions, taking all the actions, right? They expect you to do all the work or they don't think whatever actions you take are worth the damn. It's just like, oh, it's just the flex. It's just the flex. They don't know. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about side and cross watchers. Which I can hear you all say, well, good for you. Leave me the fuck alone then. I won't have to go over and charge this way the fuck with you then if you think that way. Why the fuck you got your na my name in, my, in your mouth? Why you got the, uh, the magician reverse over here calling me fucking mud? You're the one who can't, who wants to go, who won't go across the river to go wherever the fuck you came from. Go back once you were. Why are you sitting on my side of the river and hesitating to go back there unless you get the, like, half the last word? That's all I'm feeling right here, Sad and Crossworkers. It's like, and surprisingly, your card ain't come out. And yours has been popping up all over the Shadows of Judgment. Like, everyone's just looking at you like you're the fucking asshole. And it's just like, I'm minding my own fucking business. Why don't you go do your own fucking shit, motherfucker? I don't have time for you anyway. Like, you're asking, like, I just saw you six months ago. Why the fuck I need to talk to you this soon now? It's supposed to be... Three, three month, like, uh, like three quarters of a month to a year. Talk to me in a fuck, like, actually, talk to me in like never. How about next lifetime? Actually, never mind that. Um, bro, and this person, no, this like it was a prediction. Like, it could have been an earth sign that predicted it, too, that I think that you're getting something. I think it bothers them to know that you easily come back and be like, yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a stick you with my stick. It's got a pointy point on and on the end, and there are baths behind me. What you going to do, motherfucker? You know, like one of those things. I think you know that this person wants to come back because number one, it's been predicted that you're probably going to get some shit, Sagittarius. You've already seen the rose-colored glasses come off and, and know what's actually going to happen. That people are going to fall as soon as you take this first step. And that's been predicted and you know that good shit's coming. But you also predicted you're probably going to have to fight a motherfucker too. So that's going to be fun for you, Sagittarius. You get to have fun this time. 
Like, not only am I going to have good things, I get to fuck fight. Uh, uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, get your game on. Get your fights on. That one? Okay, I'll use that one. What's the rest of your week say, fire signs? I don't know. I really don't know. Hmm. Did someone get played? I'm gonna fill your water back up before I leave, ain't I, dude? Ew, yeah. Someone ah oh, the tower. Someone got played fire signs. I'm not sure if it's you or them. Someone wanted too much power, that's why they're stuck in a box, apparently. Got betrayed. Someone's uh, killing their own vitality. They keep doing the same type of magic over and over. How many fucking times I gotta tell y'all that there's a tolerance with this shit? Like, how many times do I have to tell y'all that there is a price? I'm not yelling at you. I'm just yelling in general. But you know what I fucking mean? Like, how many times I got to tell motherfuckers? There's a price to pay if you keep doing the same shit over and over and over. Well, at least with, like, love spells, protection spells and shit, it's easy to recharge that shit. That shit's easy. That's not hard. But if you keep doing it over and over again, are you going to be able to protect yourself from yourself? Can you save yourself from your own self once you get that high in your goddamn ego? That's all I gotta say. Because this, whoever you're dealing with this week, fire signs, whoever's gonna come your way, like, they fucked them own selves up. They have done so much shit that now they're bleeding out from the tree. Like, whenever that stick touches that tree, bloop, they lose like a, like a pint of blood or something. Well, I don't know. Maybe a couple ounces of blood. I don't know what the volume is for um, water, honestly. Well, the, it works by volume, right? So it, well, it really doesn't matter because they're losing fucking blood. Like the tree used to bleed, now they're bleeding. Every time they try to perform this magic. So now they're going on the lookout to see who they can suck up now. Just being like, I'm going to take your shit. But that's what got them trapped in the box because they asked for too much power from a dragon. It's just like, who the fuck were you asking this from? You can't trust a fucking dragon. Once you have some coin, they're greedy. They're going to take that shit. Did you not watch the Lord of the Rings series? Dragons be scary, yo. Like, they're looking for someone, but it's like they're not... Whatever message they're delivering doesn't change anything because there's still abuses here, and it's based on the idea of playing puppet master with people's emotions, playing games and all this shit. Like, keeping secrets. This was a bad idea. Fire signs. Whoever did this. I don't know who. Could have been you. Could have been them. I have no fucking clue. I'm a fucking idiot, so we're going with that. Anyway... That's your week, fire sign. So I hope this helps you out, and thank you very much for watching my video. And if you enjoyed, you may like, share, subscribe. If that's what you wish to do. But I'm like, I ain't begging. I got too much, uh, like I got too much Sagittarius energy with Capricorn mixed and fuck with that shit. Hell no, uh, no, 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 no. But I will fo totally put like soap and and like dye and make the fountain in town foam down the streets. Like, it's a goddamn rave party. Just watch people dance in, like, blue and purple bubbles. We can do that shit together. Anyway, um, love y'all's faces. I will see you later. Please take care. Bye-bye.